Ani, Kenny Pheasant again with our show Endai Ying. Okay, and uh, th this is a, a history lesson, if you want to call it that. Now, um, I, when I first moved to Michigan, 79, I think it was, uh, the elders told me the story. And uh, so I, I, it made perfect sense to me the way the, way the town, uh, there's a town <clears throat> uh, between Traverse City and Cadillac. Uh, and there's a sign at the road and it's, it, it, most people, they call it Mio Tawaka, is what they call it. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, it, it's spelled kind of odd, <clears throat> but it, uh, listen to the story on how, how it got its name, all right? <clears throat> Anyways, the, the community began to grow. More and more people settled in that area. I was there one time uh, a few years ago, and all it is now is a, a little grocery store, a gas station attached, I believe it is. But anyways, uh, back then, uh, maybe 100 years ago or more than that, uh, there, was, there was quite a bit of people living in the area. And um, anyways, um, they had an idea that it's, they're big enough that they could have a, a board, town board, uh, and they could make bylaws and whatnot, and uh, sure, they know. So anyways, they said, uh, well, we got to come up with a name for our town. What should we call it? And uh, they said, well, let's ask the natives. Let's ask the native people here uh, what they would call this town. They said, oh, good idea. We'll, we'll, we'll have them come to our board meeting when we have our board meeting. <coughs> So they did. They had their board meeting and they asked the native people, we said, we're big enough now that we can have a name for our town, our community, but we want you, the native people, we want it in the native language, we want you to give us that name. The native people says, oh, okay. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about, about it amongst each other and we'll get back with you. They said, okay. So they, they all left. They come back maybe a month later, whenever the meet, next meeting was, and uh, they uh, asked the native people, did you come up with a name yet? Native people said, yeah, yeah, we came up with a name. Wasn't that hard. And uh, they said, oh, okay. Well, what's, what, uh, what, uh, what did you call it? What, what's your, what did you call our town? And they said, Mo'adaga. And the people say, oh, really? That sounds, that sounds really good. Mo'adaga. So they try to spell it. Of course, they can't spell our language. And uh, so, you know, they did the best they could. But they were so happy with, their, with their, the name of their town. And uh, <clears throat> translated... Uh, see, the, these people, the, the native people, were not allowed to walk on the main street in this town. They were only allowed to walk in the alleys, okay, and uh, that's about it. And in those alleys was the outhouses, uh, the horses, uh, you know, that's where they tied them up. So everywhere the native people went in this town, they were walking in poop, okay, and uh, that's, that's what they call it, walking in poop, okay? So uh, I don't know if these people that live in that town know the translation of that word, but that's, we got them back. Now, uh, people are, are making uh, uh, headlines. I see it on Facebook all the time about the, the Washington Redskins. The, the helmet, and wh why they call it the Redskins anyway. Of all the people, they, they call them skins on top of that, Redskins. <clears throat> Anyways, here's my point, okay? Um, some people say, change the logo, change the name. I say, no, 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 don't, don't change the name. Change the logo. 
change it to a red skinned potato on their helmet. Put a red skinned potato on their helmet. Okay, then we can call them the Washington red skinned potatoes, potato heads. <laughs> But anyways, that's a little history lesson that I uh, wanted to give you about this little town uh, north of Cadillac and south of Traverse City. Okay? The town is called Mowataga, and that's how it's got its name. Miigwech kabzin do yek minuang guting. Wingezik sana.